Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So now that Aldo has been buffed twice by this update, we're going to do another 5 star review of him and I'll do some updated gameplay and let you know what I think about him. But the most important question of all is, is he hot or not? Yeah, he's hot. Unfortunately, I'm up against a lot of competition for him. Yep. He's definitely got the harem going after him in this game. Anyways, the devs have finally shown some love for Aldo. He even has a personal weapon, which we'll talk about shortly. His VC is the same as before. Uh, power and physical resistance plus 30 for one turn. You can actually give it a two turn if you want to use his personal Grasta, but there are actually updated uh, personal Grasta that I believe are better than the one you can get with the Dragon Psalms. And uh, note that uh, we now have a 255 light Aldo, and so we can actually put four moves as well as four grass slots, which really enhances his ability. Not only that, but now that with 255 light, uh, certain moves, which are signature moves, uh, gain power uh, because of that. So his Volcano Blade is modified from the beginning, adds the crit damage of all party members plus 30% for three turns. Very, very useful for support uh, on your team. The, uh, you know, the crit damage increase is really, really important against certain most boss fights. Now, the Swift Cut has also been uh, slightly upgraded, although the power down 20 is not really too useful at this point in the game. There are many, many units that can do 25 or 30. Okay, so back to his uh, two signature moves. His X Slash Mark II has now become the uh, light version after Chapter 83, and it becomes a Fire Slash AoE times 2 XL, which is the same, updated with the type attack of all party members plus 30 for 3 moves. And again, that was updated at the beginning of 2.8.5. But at Chapter 83, you get the increased strength and damage based on users' light points. So nowadays with that, his X Slash does do comparable damage to some of the other uh, gacha units in the game as opposed to before, where it did very, very little. Now the Gra Dragon Song Slash, Dragon God Slash, um, is also boosted with his uh, stats at 255. Uh, be with the before Chapter 83, you get the physical resistance down 50 for three turns instead of stackable 20, 10, 10 to 10, and it lasts for three turns instead of one turn. So very, very good QL for new players to the game. However, in the after Chapter 83, when you go to EF, it increases the strength of this move by six. 100% and increases the strength of the uh, damage based on the user's light points. So, so I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. But in AF, this is actually his most powerful move, even more powerful than his X slash light. Finally, when you get a personal weapon uh, from the fighting the Ito Ryu uh, dojo, and I do have a video on that, you get this weapon that adds one signature move from both Shion and Shigeri. Um, you know, three times hit, three times hit, fire and water. I consider this weapon more for show and certainly not really applicable for end game status, being that it doesn't uh, really have a high damage multiplier. So his board is exactly the same before, although like I said, his moves have been changed as of the 2.8.5 update and then finally after chapter 83 like I said before. Like usual, for end game fights, uh, you would use all pain Grasta and you can modify them with some of the newest uh, Grasta out there, uh, those ores such as Bullseye, um, you know, and so on and so forth. However, if you're running around the overworld, probably adding elementals such as a, uh, you know, fire, uh, you know, fire um, boosting Grasta would probably be applicable and sufficient for this. So let's take it for a spin. If you haven't already, Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So first of all, we did switch out his weapon uh, to one of the um, dual horror rewards, which is the Void Sword. It adds 20% type attack and 100% crit rate. So you can clearly see that one slash is in the hundreds of thousands of damage. And again, let me emphasize that you do, I do have the Bullseye Enhanced Grasta, which allows for extra 50% of damage outside AF. And so um, some of the big numbers that you see in uh, my video and as well as even bigger numbers in other YouTube videos will be due to the fact that you get so many new Grasta enhancements and you can really power up your team that way. 
Now the purpose of my video, of course, is just to kind of show you the basics and if you want to modify or kind of explore additional options, you can definitely do so. There's a myriad of options in terms of customizing your team and drawing out every bit of damage um, from them. So let's have some fun and try Aldo out in his upgraded form in both a fire team as well as a slash team. So let's go fire team first. And remember how the unseen was extremely difficult at one point? Well, not so much anymore. We're going to use the enhanced. We're going to use fire zone Grasta, and then we're just going to use Nokoko to support. We did volcano blade to increase crit damage by everyone by thirty percent. We applied fifty percent physical resist down with Dragon Claw slash signature, and of course the uh, increased light from the fire slash uh, mark uh, um, X slash mark two. And watch outside AF how much damage he can do. So we did a one turn AF. And we're going to end it right here on turn 2. Keep in mind also that at 255 light, he gets all those stat bonuses as well. Look at that, 9 million times 2, 18 million total. Uh, again, I obviously we stacked a lot of different buffs with critical damage, slash resist down, fire resist down, and so on and so forth. Um, I'll show you the loadout here. And so again, you can really customize your team to what works best for your team. But the, the fact that you're looking really for looking for stacks such as type resist debuff, physical resist debuff, and slash resist debuff on the enemies while boosting your own crit damage up, crit rate up, and so on and so forth. And so um, if you do have the void sword, of course, you don't even need the crit rate up since it automatically crit rate 100%. And then finally, we have Cress and Radius in the back not doing anything else except they're holding and sharing Grasta with Oldo to make him more powerful. Now in our second uh, example, a little bit longer, we're fighting again one of the true spirits, Fire. And so um, certainly not as tough nowadays as it was before. Uh, before it took a lot of rotations, not guaranteed, tight setup, and so on and so forth. Nowadays, um, this fight will be a little bit longer, but again, just demonstrates the power of the Dragon uh, God Slash uh, based on AF. Remember, we only saw a one turn AF and we actually s showed mainly the X slash Mark II as opposed to the Dragon God um, slash. And so I really wanted to demonstrate that. Now, first off, you can clearly see that the X slash can easily wipe out the minion, which is nothing, not something that he wouldn't be able to do in previous uh, before updates. So he was, you know, I would dare say borderline useless uh, before this update. He wasn't nearly competitive enough to be put on endgame teams. Okay, so obviously turn three. For those who fought this one, you can't die. And let's just go for a bar right off the bat. So we're going to spam the far right button for ourselves. And it's going to be the Dragon Cut Slash, which again, reminder, 50% physical resist down. Okay, watch how much damage he can do with one hit. Okay, so everyone's doing a few hundred thousand. Bam, 19 million. Just like that. Him, himself, 19 million one hit. I don't think anyone saw the day where he'd be doing 20 million in one hit as opposed to some of the other um, gacha units in the past. 26 million. Again, one hit, everyone. 29 million. Yeah, pretty awesome, actually. Not gonna lie. So remember that you're also gonna use the Volcano Blade in this case to uh, increase crit damage by 30% and then spam the uh, Dragon God uh, Slash. And because the physical resistance lasts for three turns, it works in multiple phases of bosses as well as as long as they don't fade out. To be fair, never took out uh, Aldo against the twins, although I imagine that in the right setup, he would wipe out the twins HP stopper very, very easily with just one hit. That's just what I would imagine anyways. Okay, so same thing, we're just going to uh, quickly uh, build up a bar again and then uh, try to end the second phase with another AF and then hopefully end the third and final phase very, very easily. So let me know in the comments below uh, if you've been using Aldo, um, if you uh, like his updates, and I really do think he's really, really awesome. Um, I think his X slash could even be powered up slightly more, but as it stands, very, very good. Especially, again, for people who are new to the game who have access to most of those buffs. And of course, for those who finish the storyline where you get all the buffs. This also shows you that you really need to uh, try to grind for that 255 light Aldo. If you don't have it already, being that that will really enhance all those damage. Now, I can't tell you, you how much it would be damage-wise if you have a lower Aldo. So if you have some data or inf information on that, feel free to comment below as well.
So again, I apologize for the longer fight. I just really want to demonstrate um, how how he works in the slash zone, and my answer is pretty pretty good. Don't forget his VC can still do um, defensive, which is his physical resistance up and also power up. So not bad in any sense. And I used to use those in much more difficult content fights back when he was not as um, prevalent and we used him as a light battery. Now his use as a light battery obviously in dungeons is very very useful still. However with his enhancements I get I, I believe he could one shot most horrors as well as wander through all dungeons using such things as um, you know dexterity commands to hit all enemies and so on and so forth. So yeah very very awesome indeed. All right so we have a bar here just trying to make sure we get everything set up ahead of time. And they're fine, 1800 fixed damage. So now that we're alive and we know that the next turn would have been the reset where he kicks out somebody, we just activate the AF right here. Um, it's very important, of course, when you're fighting any end game bosses to know the strict rotation of the enemy so you can counter and prepare accordingly. And since I fought this a number of times in different videos to just kind of demonstrate, um, as well as just practicing when I wasn't uh, doing so hot against the fight, um, fairly familiar with the thing. So again, watch the AF. So just to confirm, the damage from the Dragon Slash, uh, Dragon God Slash um, non-elemental is probably more powerful than the X Slash Mark II even with the upgrade. Okay, so again, lots and lots of damage from Aldo himself. And we're down to the third and final phase. So let's see how much damage we can do. Keep in mind that because Rogi um, does establish Fire Zone, our X slash Mark II uh, signature from the light actually does do well in this mode as well. Okay, let's see what, how, how we do here. Look at that, 10 million times 2 almost killed Logi just like that on the third phase. And my guess is that if I had some slash resist down or anything else, I probably would have ended it right there and then. So um, with some modifications, you probably could have just killed it. <laughs> very, very impressive. And to be fair, when I was making this video, I was only experimenting with Aldo for the first time. I think he's very, very good uh, nowadays as opposed to before where I hardly used him on any team. I'm definitely going to be um, looking to him as a welcome addition to my uh, slash or fire slash type team. Remember that he can be powered up with uh, the likes of, like you see, uh, Cress as well as um, Radius. And there's a, all, a lot of um, great fire slash users, for example, ES Ikea. Don't forget, I don't even have AS Miu at this point, although I am going to sidegrade her in the coming days. She will also boost him with uh, Pride of Minglins and so on and so forth. So the more powerful the units you have to support and boost Aldo, the more damage and utility you're going to get out of him. And just showing the rest of my loadout for Cress as well as for Radius. Again, mostly holding Grasta for our DPS, which happens to be Aldo. So in conclusion, definitely try to get 255 light for Aldo if you can. He not only doubles as a light battery, his DPS is, I, I, want, I don't want to say through the roof, but very, very, very respectable um, you know, uh, for this point in the game. Probably can substitute for some weaker gachas. I'm looking at Yushion. And will fit into many endgame uh, boss strats as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.